Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. Quebec is often seen as a clean, green leader on climate and progressive social policies. But is that true? Let's look at the contradictions in Quebec's climate policies. James Bay Dam, vast hydro resources. These are the hallmarks of Quebec's green persona. This region is one of the lowest emitters internationally. 96% of its electricity is generated by sources that produce no emissions. But Quebec has set the most stringent approach to reducing more emissions than any other Canadian province. Can you believe it? Quebec's emissions are 78 megatons per year today. By 2030, they plan to drop that to 54 megatons, and then as low as 4 megatons by 2050. Quebecers are anti-oil and gas. They have vehemently blocked oil pipelines from Alberta to get product to international markets. Quebec prohibits exploration within Quebec, even though there are known resources there. Ironically, Quebec is heavily dependent on oil and natural gas, with diverse heavy industry and two refineries. Quebec is the second largest market for refined oil products in Canada. And as for natural gas? Industry and residential sectors depend heavily on natural gas in Quebec. <laughs> go figure. How low can you go? Since Quebec's GHG emissions are so low, what's left to cut to make further emissions reductions? 81% of Quebec's emissions are from road vehicles and industry. Will everyone have to walk and not work? To reach these lower targets, reductions will be in sectors that are most difficult and costly. Even in Montreal, 70% of workers still commute by car, not by transit or by electric vehicles. And what about a carbon tax? Not for Quebec. They chose to go with cap and trade as their way to price carbon dioxide. They have an emissions trading deal with California. If a heavy emitting industry has an emissions cap, it can trade to emit more by paying for permits from a lower emitting partner. Sounds good for some, but Quebec gave an exemption to their biggest emitters. Initially, about 90% of the firms in industries like aluminum, cement, and agriculture were issued free permits. Quebec thought cap and trade would be a lower cost option for its industry than Canada's federally applied carbon dioxide tax system. And that was true some of the time since 2007, but... Today, the Canadian government's climate policy requires that the cap and trade system get the same result as the federal carbon dioxide taxes. The Quebec cap and trade prices are much too low. Federal carbon taxes rise to $50 per ton in 2022, so Quebec can't achieve the same emissions reduction effect when their price is not as high as the federal carbon tax. Quebec is socially progressive, right? Quebec is sensitive to the needs of the lower income people in society. Isn't that what we're all told? Of all the provinces, Quebec's approach on carbon pricing is the most regressive for the people. The provincial government gives no rebates to residents. To reach Quebec's emission reduction target by 2030, reduction in road passenger transportation emissions is absolutely central to success. But even with the best combination of federal and Quebec provincial measures combined to date, they might reach a reduction of five megatons far below the level needed to meet the 2030 target. The federal government's projections of countrywide industrial GHG emissions show an increase, not a decrease, by 2030. Is it realistic for Quebec to believe that provincial measures could achieve the huge reductions required to meet Quebec's target? Reducing industrial emissions by very much seems unlikely it would require political choices that the Quebec government so far has been unwilling to make. So, for 2030, based on present trends, it seems highly unlikely that Quebec will reduce emissions enough to meet its target of 54 megatons. Yet, here's the kicker. Quebec is committed to a far more difficult target of 4 to 17 megatons 
for 2050. Quebec, hydro clean, climate green, contradictions. Read Robert Lyman's report, Aussi en Francais. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling. <laughs>